So in our last podcast, we looked at entering the data. In this one, we're gonna be looking at how to actually run the analysis. So in the top bar here, there's lots of different uh, options you can choose from. We wanna click on Analyze, and then you go down to General Linear Model, and it's a univariate model. Now what we need to do is pop the allocation. So remember that's our independent variable, and that's a fixed factor. And our javelin inferring is our dependent variable, so that's the javelin inferring distance. Then what we need to do is you could just click OK and it'd throw you up some outputs. However, I always like to just make sure that you've got some descriptive statistics, so that's our means and standard deviations, and also some homogeneity variance test as well. OK, press continue. Now I'm also at this stage going to click on post hoc text, tests. Don't worry about this at the moment if you don't fully understand what these are used for. Um, but this is something you might want to add once you've run your initial ANOVA. So to do that, you go into post hoc, click that over to post hoc test for. And for this one, we're going to be selecting a bomb throwny, which is quite a conservative follow up analysis, and also a two keys, which is a little bit less conservative. And then press continue. Then all you need to do is press OK and it'll pop you through to an output which we're going to discuss in the next podcast